Hello and welcome to the GeoComply Remote Darts League. We always like to start by thanking our sponsors, GeoComply, the iGaming industry's trusted solution for geolocation. And it's all brought to you by FSB, the sports betting and gaming platform supplier. Our current Remote Darts League features 16 players and you join us tonight with our league table delicately poised as we begin our final round of games. Just four more nights of play to go before our finals night on Monday. Look at the current standings. Now that all players have completed 12 matches each, Stacey Pace showed some improvement last night but was unable to get off the mark and finds herself at the foot of the table. Joe Cheney defeated Thibaut Trickle 6-3 in what could be a key result with Joe now in sixth place in touching distance of the top four. Thibaut sits in ninth spot and with it all to do this evening. Last night also saw another brilliant performance from James Richardson with three more wins to extend his unbeaten run in the league phase. The defending champion is really looking good and sits on top of the pile, just above the man he beat in the first remote darts league final, of course, Crocodile Dundee, Paul Hogan. We really do have four nights to look forward to now. Tomorrow it's ladies' night. We see Laura Turner, Lorraine Wynn Stanley, Tina Osborne and Stacey Pace battle it out to see who's number one as far as the women are concerned. A Saturday night will be absolutely fascinating. If you look at our league table, it features four players with just two points between them in the league. John O'Shea there in third, and below Richard Venstra, Joe Cheney, and Justin Thompson in seventh. All of those four very much in contention and all have to play each other. And the top two, James and Paul, compete in the final group night on Sunday alongside the two men that joined them in our first RDL semi-finals. Jim Williams, who's in fifth, and Tony O'Shea. So now let's focus on tonight. New Zealand's Darren Herowini takes on Frenchman Thibaut Trickle in our second match. But as you can see there, the first people we say hello to are our friends from across the pond. Canada's Excalibur, David Cameron, and the American Eagle, Larry Butler. Hello, Richard. How you doing? Hello, my friends. Good to see you again. Absolutely. Good to see you. So let's reflect on what's been going on the last few days. Uh, David Cameron, you were with us just two nights ago. Correct, yeah. And overall, a pretty good evening for you. We won't talk about the defeat to Paul Hogan. We and will talk about the fact that you picked up four points, two other wins, to put yourself in contention. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, every point matters, obviously, to get there. So, uh, yeah, I mean... You're going to have a bad uh, run once in a while, I think, most most of us. But uh, you know what? I'm going to dig in tonight and see what happens. And dig in is the key, David, because I must give you credit there. You, you did suffer a heavy defeat to Paul Hogan, six legs to nil. But yeah. you bounced back brilliantly against a gentleman in form, Richard Venstra, to defeat him six legs to three. Really impressive stuff there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, you just sometimes you're you're you get down a little bit. But then you relax and you can get that nice flow going again. So I think that's kind of what happened there. I was like, okay, take a few deep breaths and uh, just see what happens. So it worked out quite well. And Larry, the night before, really interesting evening for you. Started with a win over Laura Turner. And then you played out two 10-leg thrillers where, in other scenarios, you could have walked away with all the points. You ended up with a draw and defeat. So, so close against both the O'Shea's. A draw yeah. against Tony. I think Tony took out a 116 with me on a double Absolutely. on the last leg. And then yeah. uh, John, John just went crazy in the last leg. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, you were sat there ready for the win against Tony O'Shea. And the 116 he pulled out, magnificent point for Tony, of course. But must have felt like a point drop for you. And then, as you say, you went into the last game, played very well again against John O'Shea. But he yeah. was the winner six legs to four. <clears throat> I, I, all I can say is I've had a blast during this, this entire event. This is, has been wonderful. Yeah, well, a lot of good feedback uh, regarding you two in particular. It's been great to see how well you're playing. And even though hard work for the both of you, you're both still in with a chance. I think, Larry, you would need to have a near-perfect evening. I, uh, and I would need to help as well, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But you, it's still, you still have the opportunity. And, and what a great game to start off. Now, Larry, David... 
I'm sure you've met each other before. Larry, any memories no, of playing David? Really. <laughs> never, never, <laughs> never. Surely, David, you must remember something. <laughs> yeah. Times over the years, there it was pretty yeah. good. A little bit of soft. We ran into each other and stuff, so it was cool. Yeah, they yeah. Did. Two a lot of respect enough. for David. He's a good, really good player. Yeah, it's good to see two of our dominant forces from the states uh, taking some of the uh, North America. Rather, the reason I just hesitated there, I was just checking our screens because David seemed to freeze on us. There, are you okay, David? Yeah, I think so. they tried to call me, maybe, and I just didn't answer it. So, okay. So, yeah. Okay, as, as long as you're sure, as long as you're with us. Yeah, as I was saying, North America, you two, two of the names we see time and time uh, again there. And something about the Remote Darts League for this edition, we have gone global. It's been great to have the North American element. So uh, thanks for being part of it. And we're really looking forward to this first match. David, hold all calls. <laughs> yeah, this is good. So I look forward as well. Appreciate everything you guys are doing too. So thanks, thanks for the input. Thanks. Well, let's have a great game. We'll let our two North Americans warm up. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, you're never, you're never quite sure where the next little technical hitch is going to come in with the remote darts league, but that's been the fun of it. Everyone playing in their own homes all across the world. Here we have Larry Butler. Dayton, Ohio is home for the Eagle. And for David Cameron, Dutch settlements, but that's not in the Netherlands, of course. That's in Halifax, Nova Scotia. That is where David is based, and it's a nice uh, time of day for them. I think Larry's five hours behind the UK, and David four, so nice evening for them uh, to ease into the darts. There you see the format, best of ten legs. The first man to six will pick up two vital points, or it could be a draw if it goes 5-5. Five five. David, once you're ready, it's going to be you that throws first. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Larry. Okay. I'm good. So the first leg is David to throw first. Eighty-one. One forty. One twenty five. Uh, eighty. One hundred. Forty-six. One forty. Eighty-three. David requires fifty-five. Seconder. Game shot on the first leg. David Cameron, second leg, Larry to throw first. 47. 1, 3, 4. Ninety-six. One forty. Eighty-five. One eighty. 
and the first 180 goes to David. Ninety-two. David, you require forty-seven. Second leg. Yeah, eleven dot leg. David Cameron takes the second. Third leg is David to throw first. Forty-five. One twenty one. One hundred. Sixty. One hundred. One hundred. Sixty. One forty. Five. Larry requires eighty. Yeah, seventy. David on one four one. At forty. Larry, you require ten. First start. Game shot and the third leg, Larry Butler. Fourth leg is Larry to throw first. Eighty one. One twenty one. Uh, one hundred. Eighty-three. Forty-six. Sixty. Ninety-seven. Eighty-three. Ninety-seven. David, you require one hundred and fifty-four. Fourteen and Larry, you require eighty. Sixty. David, you require forty. Second arc. Game shot and the fourth leg to David Cameron. Fifth leg, David to throw first. Sixty. 
Larry, you require seventy. Thirty. David, you require one hundred and eighteen. Seventy-eight. Larry, you require forty. First start. Game shot on the fifth leg, Larry Butler. Sixth leg, it's Larry to throw first. One forty. One hundred. Fifty five. One thirty four. Eighty one. Larry requires forty seven. Second arc. Game shot and the sixth leg, Larry Butler. Seventh leg, David to throw first. One forty. Fifty four. One eighty. A second one eighty of the match, one apiece. One seven seven. One hundred. One hundred. Larry, you require eighty one. Third dart. It's a bullseye and a twelve dart finish for Larry Butler. Takes the seventh leg. Eighth leg, it's Larry to throw first. One 
Fifty-five. One forty. Eighty-two. Larry, you require one hundred and forty-five. Dark. Marvelous finish. Treble 20, treble 19, and double 14. The 145 takes the eighth leg. Ninth leg, it's David to throw first. One hundred. One twenty five. One twenty five. Eighty five. Ninety six. And they would require ninety five. Seventy scored. Seventy and Larry you require eighty. Two darts. And what a way to win the two double tops. It's game shot and the match. Larry Butler. Wow. Charlie. Goodness me, what Good a game. You. Good job, bud. Thanks. And the way you started out, I thought I was in big trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I let it get away. Obviously, you mm. that ten darter at me right off the bat. <laughs> well, that was my <clears throat> win, but anyway. I I mean, David, as Larry said, you came out blazing. Eleven darter, second leg, uh, and a uh, couple of times you had the lead. I think you had one dart at tops, didn't you, for big checkouts? One five four and one one eight. Yes, yeah. If either one of those go, Larry's in massive trouble. I think you missed the one one eight to go four one up. <laughs> Yeah, that, that 154 would have hurt just as much as Williams' 155. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You, you, uh, see, you don't forget, do you, Larry? Um, no, I don't. <laughs> but, hey, uh, Larry, you're 3-1 down there, and and David has the darts. I mean, to, to reel off the legs that you reeled off there, five straight, included a 12-dart finish on the 81 on the bull. Next, check out the 145 on the double 14, and then to end it in style, two double tops, two dots, 80, bang, bang. I hadn't had much luck going into triple 20 with 80, so I figured I'd try it that way. <laughs> <laughs> now, David, yeah. I, I mentioned before the match, you bounced straight back last time. This current situation, you're actually both now on 15 points. Larry's only ahead of you on legs difference. So yeah. both of you now go into the next two games, two wins, and you're right in the mix. Yeah, so hey, you know what? Uh, it's behind me now, and I'm off to the next one. Let's, let's bring it on. <laughs> and Larry, despite that great performance, still work for you to do. Yes, I, I agree. I'm going to give it my best.
Yeah, we look forward to seeing you both later on. Thanks for the entertaining start, David Cameron, and well done, Larry Butler. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you, Richard. Thank Thanks, David. I'm lucky. Yeah, on paper it looked like a great match and I think it's going to be a great evening. Next, it is Darren Herowini of New Zealand taking on the Frenchman, Thibaut Trickle. Welcome back to the GeoComply Remote Darts League. It's our final phase of action. The next four nights, all of our players completing their league matches. Let's say hello to two more gentlemen that have entertained us throughout. The man from France, Thibaut Tricol. Bonjour, Thibaut. Bonsoir, tout le monde. Good evening, everybody. Yes, good evening. And I guess we better say good morning to good our morning. friend in New Zealand, Darren Heroini. How are you all? Good morning. 
Good afternoon, good evening. Good morning, darling. If we're in any doubt, just stick to good moaning. It seems to work for everybody. Uh, Darren, you haven't been complaining too much about the early starts. You've uh, been very professional, but how are you feeling uh, this morning? Slept well, early start? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you had a bit of a horrible, horrible sleep, but it's all right. We'll just stick with it and um, yeah, just try and move on from there. But um, yeah, no, but got in there real early and... Turn the heaters on real quick, so get a bit of heat in there, get a bit warmer. Excellent. That's been good. I hope your sleep wasn't affected by the thought of taking on these three uh, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just looking forward to some, yeah, some good games. And I mean, um, I think it's my last game, or I don't know, something like that. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, you've got three games to go this evening, Darren, and that's it. And now I'm saying this evening, of course, if, if you don't know all the time zones, Darren is uh, 11 hours ahead of the UK, so 8.30 a.m. there. Tebow, you're just an hour ahead of us, I think, down in Brittany, France. So you're used to the late shift. Uh, you played the late shift with us last night, didn't you? You were in action late into the evening. And it was a big match right at the end against Joe Cheney. Yes, <laughs> uh, I tried to, to not remember this match. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, to play uh, played well, but um, no, tonight is for me. Is, I'm not sure for the translation, but is give yes, give um, yes, yeah, say it in French. Give, give everything to 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 not regret to regret nothing. So. A good way of looking at it. I'm sure it sounds far better in French, but uh, we understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. yeah and, and, and the same goes for you, Darren. I think uh, whatever the position you've been in, and just to remind people if they weren't watching, Darren begun the campaign with three defeats in his first uh, session. And since then, you've really bounced back. But that, that early setback it has been hard to recover, hasn't it? In the league, I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, it's just like, like, like I was saying back a few weeks ago, um, yeah, we're not used to playing seven to eight o'clock in the morning. Um, but this time here, you know, we we, we have to make do of what we what we can do. Um, at the end of the day, we we can't go to a, to a big league, to a big tournament, and um, showcase our darts in front of a whole lot of people because of what's going on. Yeah. Um, but this is this is the only way we how we can play now. So. Until this, until this uh, pan pandemic uh, finishes, um, yeah, we can all get back together and start socialising again. Yeah, you're but, absolutely um, yeah, right. It's been difficult. It's been difficult, real difficult. So, but it's 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 good. I love it. I love well, it. to your credit, Darren, and I will give you credit. I mean, I say you lost your opening uh, three games, but since then you've only lost two out of nine. I mean, that's as good a form as any of the guys, apart from the top yeah. two. <laughs> so you've been riding the mix past that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just yeah, just trying to trying to perfect the whole heating and the um the noise situation is um yeah, it's a little bit difficult. But um, yeah, like I said, hey, like you just gotta uh, make do what you can do at this time and um in this time of need. So I would just move on, keep playing. I love it. I enjoy it. Get to play players that I only dream of, of of playing and only get to see on TV. Um, so my opportunity in this tournament is is awesome, and I thank everyone for for participating and um, for letting me play in this tournament. It's been awesome. Yeah, great words, Darren. And and for you, Tebow, you have a lot of work to do. It is possible for you to finish in the top four. You need a big night now, though. Some yeah, big. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Even if I won't, uh, I win my three matches. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, we try. I will try. I do. I will do my best. Yeah, well, we know that from both of you throughout. So let's get the practice starts thrown. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, Rob. Thank you. Cheers, yeah, you the best, Darren. Yeah, so it's not often we get to enjoy a darts match between France and New Zealand, but that's what we have here. And as Darren says, that's been the beauty of the 
Remote Darts League connecting all of the nations. We've got nine nations involved in this tournament across three continents. So it's really been enjoyable to put these up against each other. In this match, as always, the best of ten in the league phase. Uh, Darren will be the player starting. I took it from you. Okay, Tebow, are you okay, Darren? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay, so the first leg is Darren to throw first. Game on. Cheers, Yeah, good doubts. Darren. Fifty-four. Forty-two. Darren requires one hundred and seventy. You require twenty five. Uh, twenty one. T Bay requires one hundred and forty. Uh, Eighty. Darren requires four. Score. Tebow, you require 60. Yes, second that. Well, Darren came so close to the biggest finish of them all, but it's Tebow that takes the first leg. Second leg, Tebow to throw first. Um, one fourth. You require one hundred and twenty. Yes, freedom. Yes, the second leg, a Shanghai finish for the Frenchman. Two nil, and the third leg is Darren to throw first. Uh, 
117. Seventy-seven. Sixty. Sixty. One seventy one. Yeah, three triple nineteens, but Darren requires one hundred and twenty. Oh, forty nine. Ah, forty one. Sorry, forty one scored, and Tebow requires seventy six. Scored and Darren requires seventy nine. Thirty nine. T Bow, you require sixty four. Yes, second last. Yes, yes in, in the, the bottom, bottom of the double eight, eight for sixty four takes the third leg, T Bow. And fourth leg is T Bow to throw first. One hundred and forty. Eighty one. Oh, uh, eighty one. Sixty. One hundred. Sixteen. Darren, you require one hundred and sixty. Um, eighty four. Tebow requires one hundred and seventeen. Seventy seven. Darren, you require seventy six. Score. Slips into the 13, no score, and Tebow requires 40. Yes, further. Game shot and the fourth leg to Tebow Trickle. Fifth leg, Darren to throw first. The first 180 of the match to Darren. 125. 
140. Darren requires 170. Fifty-eight. Sixty. Aaron, you require one hundred and twelve. Fifty-six. Sixty. Aaron, you require fifty-six. Uh, 36. 95. Darren, you require 20. 10 school. Tebow, you require 77. Seven. Darren, you require ten. Fifty-nine. There it is, the fifth leg on double five to Darren Herowini. Six leg Tebow to throw first. One hundred. Tebow requires 110. 70. Yeah. 70. Tebow, you require 40. Darren, you require 164. Um, 59? 59, Tebow, you require 10. Let's go. Darren, you require 105. Tebow, you require 10. Yes, second dart. Yeah, finds the double fire to take the sixth leg, Tebow, but the seventh leg is Darren to throw first. Oh, 41. One 
Posting on. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred forty. One hundred. Darren requires one hundred and sixty-one. Tiva, you require one hundred and one. Sixty one. Darren, you require sixty four. Uh, forty four. Tiva, you require forty. Yes, so the third that. Yeah, in the top of the double ten, it's game shot and the match to Tebow Twitter. <laughs> um, Cheers, buddy. Awesome right, game. Well, uh, well, Darren, 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 I don't think we need to discuss what went wrong in that particular match. The, yeah. the doubles in the first three or four legs. So frustrating for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of doubles. Um... But uh, today, I mean, if you go double, you can't win games, you can't win leagues, so that's all good. And it's always the irony, isn't it? You you wire the ball for the 170 right at the start of the match mm. and then can't find the double after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sort of got me stumped. Oh, oh, all good. This is what it is. Well, you don't have long to bounce back, Darren. You're going to be straight back on against David Cameron. So keep positive thoughts going. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, always positive. <laughs> or try to. <laughs> yeah. We like the laugh, whatever happens. <laughs> um, Sweet. Tebow, uh, good two points on the board. That's your mission this evening, to keep putting more points on that league table. So well done in that one. Some good finishes. Yeah, sure. 120. Yes. Yes, uh, I keep the, the, the point, but uh, yeah, I'm not proud of my match. Uh, yeah, the run miss uh, too much doubles, and I, I don't find my tripper, so I saw as a offer. Uh, not a good match. But well, you have uh, two more matches this evening, both of you. So yeah. for that. Darren, you're next against David Cameron, and then Tebow's back against Larry Butler. So we'll see yeah. you both soon. Yeah, so sure. much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, better. Yeah, so Darren will keep going. He's back up next. To take on Canada's David Cameron. <laughs>
welcome back. Uh, we're the, at the Geo Comply Remote Darts League and we're at the business end of the league phase now with four more nights of play to complete. All of the players are playing their remaining matches and they're all chasing the top four. Uh, we've had two matches so far this evening. Let's have a look at where that puts things on the league table. It really couldn't be closer between the players that are trying to get themselves into that top four. If they have any chance of getting in. This is the night to do it. You can't be outside of that top four and then hope to get in it. You have to do it tonight. Look at Tebow. He is currently in, on 16 points, sixth position, just trying to edge up into that top four. He has two more matches to play, as do the players in ninth and tenth there. Larry Butler, David Cameron, joint on 15 points and still can, with two wins, get themselves into that top four. That's exactly where it stands right now. 13 games played for Tebow, Larry, David, and indeed Darren. And we're now going to say hello to our next players. They return from their first matches here this evening. Welcome back very quickly to Darren Herowini and to David Cameron. Hello again. Hello, hello. hello again. So as luck would have it, or bad luck would have it, it's not been a good start for either of you. So time to put things right. Darren, we want to see those doubles finding, uh, <laughs> well, the darts finding the doubles, I should say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Just need to focus on my doubles a little bit more better. And um, yeah, hope, hope to win a few more leagues than last time. <laughs> Yeah, well, you two have been uh, two of our most positive speakers and thinkers. So, David, any more words of wisdom or things you've been telling yourself going into this one? Uh, just, you know, just try and get up there and just do what I do, right? And just try and stay consistent because uh, just I'm going off a little consistency there, here and there, and it's kind of biting me in the you-know-what. So, as I say, just trying to right now, just try to stay consistent, hit the doubles, and see what happens. Now, head-to-head, -head, guys, have you two met in competition before? No, I never played. I don't no. think. No, but you do share a great memory, don't you, together? I was there as well uh, at the World Cup in Romania uh, in the autumn where gold medals were picked up for your countries. Uh, Dave Cameron with Jeff Smith won the World Cup pairs for Canada. And Darren Harawini, just a couple of games later, picked up the World Cup singles title for New Zealand. Great memories, guys. Absolutely, yeah. for sure. 100%. See, I'm sticking with the positive vibes going into this one. <laughs> okay, gents, let's get the game on. Two games, Darren. Cheers, David. Cheers, brother. All the best, pal. Oh, and there really is. Uh, there's a bit of distance between these two and quite a bit of time difference as well. Uh, I'm doing the math. I'm making about 15 hours difference between the two of them. Still already tomorrow for Darren down in... Well, he's very close to Wellington, Darren. And close to Halifax, Nova Scotia, David Cameron. You can still see the daylight out there of the evening for David. I'm sure if we had the window nearby... By the way, I must say for Darren Herowini, that setup it has been the most easy on the eye of all of the setups we've had of our 16 players. Very nice stage set indeed. <coughs> I'm ready. Cheers. All right. Yep. But hey, it's business now. It's on to the darts. And Darren, you are the man that throws first. Game on. Ninety-seven. One hundred and forty. One forty. One Um, 95. Darren, you require 124. 
36. One hundred. Darren, you require sixty-eight. Game in three. It's a bullseye, and it's Darren Herowini that takes the first leg. Second leg, David, throw first. One forty. Sixty. Uh, 83. Yeah, David scored 135 and Darren with 83. David, you require 167. Hmm. 43. Uh, 58. David requires 124. Twenty four. Eighty five. David, you require one hundred. Eighty scores. Darren, you require 155. 65. And Darren, a uh, David rather, requires 20. 10 scored. Darren, you require 90. Five. 85. It's in the five, and David requires 10. First. Finds the double five. The second leg, David Cameron. Third leg, Darren to throw first. Oh, 42. One hundred. One forty. Sixty. Fifty-seven. One 
134. David, you require 101. Eighty-one. Darren, you require seventy-two. Forty scored. And David, you require twenty. Second dart. Yeah, the second dart is there in the double ten for the third leg, David Cameron. Fourth leg, David to throw first. One hundred. Forty three. First one eighty of the match, David. Sixty. David, you require eighty one. Uh, Fifty seven. Fifty-nine. David, you require twenty-four. First game shot on the fourth leg. David Cameron. Fifth leg. Darren to throw first. Oh my God. Forty-five. Sixty. Yeah, fifty five for David. Fifty-nine. Darren, you require one hundred and thirty-six. Oh, God. Uh, Eighty-eight. David, you require one hundred and sixty-seven. Fifty-seven. Darren, you require forty-eight. Fifty-nine. 
39, David requires 110. Third dirt. Yeah, lovely finish. The 110 on the double 15 to take the fifth leg, David Cameron. Sixth leg, it's David to throw first. Eighty-seven. David, you require sixty-two. Third down. Yeah, David ends a ton fest with a sixty-two to take the sixth leg. Seventh leg, it's Darren to throw first. Darren, you require 158. David requires 160. 100. Darren, you require 24. 12. David, you require 60. Yeah, game shot and the match to David Cameron. Yeah, Darren, you require 100. Well, congratulations, David. Thank you. Very well done, sir. And that is yeah. two key points on the board for you there. Yeah, definitely. Is it? Still work to do this evening, but very important. And are you happy overall with how you played? The, the, I think the key shot for you there, the 110. Absolutely yeah. brilliant to, to steal that fifth leg. Yeah, I mean, finishing, like, early on, a uh, few finishes kind of, kind you know, where I missed cost me. But everybody does it. So, it, and at some point, we're going to hit those finishes to kind of get us back. And you got to believe that. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, was, that was good. Yeah, a bit of irony again for Darren. Uh, mate, you hit the bull on the first leg. And then the double ring is the one that you're suffering on. Yeah, yeah, just kind of dose. Um, 
Would have been a different story if I could. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, yeah. And I think, and I think for the first time, and, and you have been so positive even with negative results, but just in the last couple of legs, we start to hear it in your voice because you're in these legs, you're competing, and then and, and, and then missing du- that. I mean, the double seven for the double sixteen is so close, but but it's not mm-hmm. in. No, 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 no. It's um, yeah, like, like I was saying, if you can't in doubles, you can't win games. So, um, now I know what I have to do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, Darren, on <laughs> well, you have a couple of games off now. You're back with us right at the end of the session. So, work on those doubles, get yourself warmed up a bit more, and we look forward to seeing you back to take on Larry Butler could be still a key game for Larry, so we look forward to your part in that. Uh, David, you're back in a couple of games' time to take on Thibaut Trickle, and that's a huge game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, hey, you know what? <laughs> Bring it on. See what happens. <laughs> absolutely. Bring it on, indeed. <laughs> Darren, David, thanks again, and we'll see you both later on. Good game, Darren. Cheers, David. Cheers, Cheers Richard. Cheers, well, we can say goodbye to Canada and New Zealand, and very shortly we'll be saying hello to the United States and to France with Larry Butler and Thibaut Trickle.
Yeah, welcome back to the Geo Comply Remote Darts League. Just a few more days of league play to go here. Really hotting up. We'll keep our eye on the league table as we go through the evening. Just something else for you to keep your eye on. Don't forget about the Play a Pro promo that we're running. Get yourselves onto www.remotedartsleague.com because one of you watching could be playing just like our players are remotely online against one of the pros. I think we're running that on Sunday evening, just before our final four league games. So if you want to get involved, it's only running for a couple more days before we make the random draw. So get on to remotedartsleague.com and make sure you've entered the Play a Pro promo. Well, we have two great players playing right now. Let's say hello to them once again. The Eagle, Larry Butler, is there. Our friend hello from much. Ohio. And the Frenchman, Thibaut Trickle. Hello again. Hello again. <laughs> hello, Thibaut. Hi, Larry. So, gentlemen, a good, good start to your evening. Larry, nice win over David Cameron. All went very well. The finishing, brilliant stuff. Yeah, I hope I can keep that up. <laughs> Yeah, it was good to watch. We want to see it again now. Tebow, you were a winner. Uh, yeah. Some highlights for you, the three triple 19s, the one twenty finish. But overall, you weren't happy with your performance. Yeah, it's better. It's better for me. It's a good result. Yeah. For the next, I will, I will see. <laughs> okay, so you just, so you, just want to, you said you want to up the scoring a bit, up the level. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you were saying that you were looking to improve, even though you won. Yeah. 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 Um, I will try. <laughs> well, we know that. You always try. Uh, Thibaut, I must ask, because I ask you every time, are you feeling nervous tonight? Uh, each evening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, too much, uh, maybe. But, uh, yeah, this evening is more important for... For everybody, but uh, yeah, for me, particularly. Yeah, so, indeed. Larry, I mean, the, the length of time you've been in the game, do you, do you still feel any nerves? I mean, playing a game like this, do you get nervous? Well, only when I'm not playing well. <laughs> oh, okay, so it actually can happen in the game that you start getting nervous. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody could really honestly just say they never get nervous. I mean, that would be... I would, I would ask them what they're lying about next, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're nervous and we're just watching. So we'll let you two warm up. <laughs> All right, thank you for playing. Richard. Have a great game, guys. Yeah, and they're, and they're just a point between these two at the moment. And, and, and if either of them can pick up a win and then go on and win their next game as well, they'll elevate themselves into the top four. So everything to play for. David Cameron in a similar position. You've got three players now really shooting for a place in our top four. After this game, uh, we will take a look at the league table before we begin game number five and see how everything stands. But for now, it's all eyes on this match. Tebow will be the player that starts in this best of ten leg encounter. <coughs> okay, okay, Tebow. Yeah. I'm okay. What's that? Okay, Lovely. So, first leg, it's Tebow to throw first. Yeah, good darts. Play well. All the best, Tebow. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Eighty four. One hundred. Eighty. One forty. Ninety-seven. 
Uh, 85. Tebow requires 156. Seventy-eight. Larry on one five five. Sixty-five. Timo, you require seventy-eight. Fifty-eight. Larry, you require ninety. Second yep, great finish. The first leg, Larry Butler. Second leg, it's Larry to throw first. Ninety-six. One hundred. One eighty. The first of the match goes to Larry. Eighty five. Sixty-four. One forty. Larry requires one hundred and sixty-one. Uh, Fifty-five. One, one, three, six. One, three, six. And Larry requires one hundred and six. Ninety six. Seventy four. Seventy four, Tebow, you require forty. Yes, the first up. Yep, second leg goes to Tebow. Third leg, it's Tebow to throw first. One hundred. Forty. One forty. One forty. One forty. One forty. Tebow requires one hundred and twenty one. One eighty one. One oh five. Tebow requires forty. Yes, second dot. 
Yeah, game shot and the third leg to Thibaut Trickle. Fourth leg, Larry, to throw first. Ah, 41. Sixty. Sixty. One eighty. Second one eighty of the match. One apiece. Ninety five. One hundred. One seventy. Tebow requires one hundred and sixty one. Forty three. Larry, you require one hundred and thirty five. Six or uh, seventy. And Tebow requires one hundred and eighteen. Ninety-eight. Larry, you require sixty-five. Third yeah, the 14, the 19, and the double 16 takes the fourth leg. Larry Butler, a 170 scored along the way. Fifth leg, Tebow to throw first. One hundred. One hundred. Fifty nine. One forty. Ninety-six. Forty-one. Larry, you require seventy-two. Very dark. Yeah, finds it again. The fifth leg, Larry Butler. And the sixth leg, it's Larry to throw first. One hundred. One three four. Ah, twenty six. Eighty. Ninety-six. 
180. Tebow's second 180. One forty. See, but you require one hundred and seven. Yes. Yeah, lovely finish again. The one oh seven for Tebow on the double top. And seventh leg, it's Tebow to throw first. Forty three. Forty-five. One hundred. Forty-five. One hundred. One hundred. Ah, uh, six. Oh, no, one hundred. Sixty. Tebow, you require fifty-six. Sixteen. Larry, you require one hundred and fifty-one. Eleven? Yeah, three trebles. Treble three, treble twenty, treble fourteen. See, but you require forty. Yes. That yeah, finds it with a third dart. The double top. The seventh leg to Tebow. Eighth leg, Larry to throw first. One thirty seven. Seventy eight. Sixty. One eighty. Third one eighty for Tebow. One forty. One forty. Tebow, you require one hundred and three. Uh, 85. 85 scored. Larry, you require 106. 74. Tebow, you require 18. 10. Larry, you require 32. Second dart. 
Game shot and the eighth leg to Larry Butler. Ninth leg, Tebow to throw first. One forty. One forty. Sixty. Ah, eighty five. Eighty three. Ninety five. One forty. Eighty two. Tebow, you require seventy eight. Yes. Yeah, enough. finds the double top to take the ninth leg, Tebow, and the tenth and final leg is Larry to throw first. Ninety-six. Sixty. Sixty. Ninety-eight. One eighty. Fourth one eighty for Tebow, but Larry requires one hundred and forty-seven. Ah, one set. Uh, one eleven. Tebow requires one hundred and thirty-eight. Seventy-three. Larry on thirty-six. First start. Well, it's there for Larry Butler to take the tenth leg, and it means it's a five-five draw. Well, well, well. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that applied to everybody there. I was having a few uh, image issues there with Larry Butler right towards the end of the game. Uh, I didn't want to stop the game in that final leg with uh, the, the match being so delicately poised. Uh, honest calling, of course, from Larry. The, the picture was just in and out there right at the end. Um, but well done, Larry. Uh, picked up that key 10th leg. That means it's a point apiece. I'm not sure who's happy or sad about that. Um, Tebow, I want to start with you because... I don't know if you realised, but all five legs that you won were won on double top. Yeah, yeah, I realised because um, I, I know uh, I don't have to miss my double uh, against Larry because uh, him, uh, he doesn't uh, uh, miss. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, my uh, four, uh, four 180 uh, was uh, were so important. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the me, uh, to, yeah, the, the, to win some legs. The, there was one interesting shot, Tebow. I've said about the double top. You're hitting it so well. You yeah. wanted 106, 
and you yeah. opted for the 10 double 18. Did you aim for the 10 or is it just 10 or 6? You didn't mind. Well, uh, 10 or 6, uh, of course. Yeah, Yeah, but, but to get, do, did you choose double 18 or uh, do you not mind? Uh, I can't remember. No, I prefer double. Uh, I prefer um, double twelve, but <laughs> double, but double eighteen is uh, <laughs> the same. <laughs> it's, yeah, it, 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 it the only thing gave me another shot. <laughs> I, I think the key moment, Larry, of the, I mean, if we can pick one moment, uh, the seventh leg, it's three three. You hit the three trebles. Remember the treble three, the treble twenty, and the treble fourteen. Right, and right. you left tops, and then Tebow with his third dot in hand found the double top. That could be the difference between a point and two points there. I felt it was pretty huge, right? At the, at yeah. That moment, right? <laughs> yeah. Tebow played great, though. He really played great. Uh, and Larry, you, 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 as always, you, as always, never give up, and and well fought out there for the draw. Who knows where those points will lead. We're going to say goodbye to you both for now. Again, we're just struggling with Larry's picture. We can hear you, Larry, but we, the picture's freezing. That's it no just, problem. It just occurred to me, we, we each keep hurting the other one's chances, you know? I know. <laughs> and he's the thing. But, hey, you're both still in with a shout. Tebow, you're back up next to play David Cameron. And, Larry, you're back up at the end to play Darren Herowini. So we're going to sign off for now. Thanks, Larry. Thank Good you, day, Tebow. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, absolutely key result there for both uh, a point apiece. And we're going to be back, as I've mentioned. Tebow returns to take on David Cameron.
Yeah, welcome back to the Geo Comply Remote Darts League. And as promised in these remaining four league nights, it's really hotting up for positions. Remember, you've got 16 players involved and around 10 or 11 of them are pushing for a top four spot in their final games. Let's have a look at how we currently stand after two games played for each player here this evening. Uh, just one more game to go for these. And look at that. Fifth and sixth place. That's the match we are about to enjoy right now. Thibaut Trickle and David Cameron going head to head. If one of those can pick up a win, they jump up 19 points and into third place. And uh, Larry Butler now with a very, very outside chance. I mean, mathematically, he could still get in that top four, but he has to stay there, doesn't he, if he's going to win his game. And that's going to be tough. But hey, Thibaut and David, this match is Really crucial. We're looking forward to it. Fifth versus sixth, pushing for that top four. Let's say hello to both gentlemen right now. Hey, how you doing? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello again. Hey, David. Hey, buddy. Now, however we build this, whether this is your last game of the tournament or not, guys, let's just treat this like a final. Because you're level on points. Whoever wins this game uh, will finish above the other. And it could mean that you, you go to the top four, you will go to the top four if you win. We don't know if you're going to stay there yet. <laughs> That's, that remains to be seen over the next few nights. But uh, looking forward to this one. Um, David, uh, a key win against Darren after the defeat in the first game. Doesn't surprise me with you. You bounce back, uh, but really important for you. Yeah, as I said, you know what? I let the first one get away. I felt great the whole time. Uh, just as I say, I had some key finishes. If I had to hit them, might all would have been in my favor. But hey, that's the way it goes. And uh, yeah, and then just dig in on the second one. And you know, because Darren's a good player too, so I didn't know what to expect. But he didn't shoot his darts. What I can see, and I capitalize. So uh, I'll take it for sure. Excellent. And Tebow, are you happy with the point from the last game? Uh, it's a good result because uh, Larry is. Is very uh, very good player, of course, but uh, ah, I prefer <laughs> two points for this game now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, absolutely. Uh, we won't keep you guys much longer, David. Just one more question: Being a Canadian, I have to ask, do you speak French? Uh, like I said, I can pick up some words here and there, kind of, because I go to Quebec and they're very French, of course. And uh, yeah, I kind of pick up some words, but not a lot. But uh, hey, there's Google Translate now too, so that really helps. So is there, is there anything you'd like to say to Thibaut? I uh, wish you the very best. I did it in English. <laughs> Just for me. Uh, <laughs> je te souhaite le meilleur, uh, David. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll leave that there. Uh, you could have said anything there, Thibaut. That <laughs> was good. Excellent. Look, let's let the darts do the talking. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Thibaut. Get warmed up. Yeah, so I can't build this one up enough as far as the league's concerned. They've played 14 matches each. This is their final league game. A win for either player could book them a spot in our semi-finals. Thibaut will be the player throwing first in this one. It's best of 10 legs again. We've just seen a 5-5 draw. The first player to six will get those two points. I'm ready, guys. Yeah, ready. So okay, you Tebow, know. you throw first here. Okay, Game all on. the best, David. You too, bud. Yeah, 85. Forty-seven. One hundred. Eighty-one. Twenty-eight. 
26. Seventy nine. Ninety seven. T requires one hundred and seventy. Ninety eight. David requires one hundred and thirty two. Sixty-four scored. T Bell on seventy-two. Forty-two. David, you require sixty-eight. Seconder. Game shot on the first leg. David Cameron. Second leg. It's David to throw first. One hundred. Fifty-eight. Sixty. Sixty one three seven one hundred one hundred. Ah, no, she might come. Forty-two. Ah. David on one four three. Uh, forty-six. One hundred. David, you require ninety-seven. Seventy-seven. Tebow, you require sixty-two. Uh, but <laughs> oh, it's in the trouble fifteen, so no yeah. score. Yeah. And David requires twenty. No score. Tebow back to sixty two. Yes. That's yeah, that. this time round he finds the checkout. Second leg to Tebow. And third leg, it's Tebow to throw first. Ninety five. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Sixty. Ninety-nine. One 
100. David requires 156. One hundred. Tebow requires eighty nine. Yes. Yeah, great. Good Check day. out two darts for eighty nine, the third leg, to Tebow, fourth leg, David to throw first. One forty. Thirty-eight. Yeah. One hundred. Forty-six. Eighty-three. Fifty-eight. One hundred. David on one twenty. Sixty. David, you require 60. 50. Tebow on 138. 86. David requires 10. Uh, eight scored. You require 52. 52. Yes, two, two dots. Yes, game shot and the fourth leg to Tebow to recall. And the fifth leg is Tebow to throw first. Ninety six, One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Tebow requires eighty. David requires 108. 60. Tebow requires 20. Second that, yeah. Yeah, the fifth leg to Tebow, sixth leg, David to throw first. One, 
Eighty-one. Ninety-five. David requires one hundred and one. Uh, twelve left. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Eighty-two. David on twelve. Six. Tebow requires one hundred and twenty-four. Seventy-two. David on six. Third leg. Finds the double three to take the sixth leg, Dave Cameron. Seventh leg, Tebow to throw first. One forty. Sixty. Fifty-seven. Eighty-one. One eighty. The first one eighty of the match, but David requires one hundred and twenty. Tebow requires 28. 28. Yes, that's that. Yeah, finds the double seven <laughs> to take the seventh leg, Tebow, and the eighth leg is David to throw first. Seventy-six. One hundred. Eighty. David requires eighty-seven. Seventy-one. 
third down, sorry, yes, third. Yep, three dots for 87. It's game shot on the eighth leg. David Cameron, ninth leg, Tebow to throw first. One hundred. Sixty. One hundred. One hundred. One twenty one. Eighty one. Uh, Sixty. One forty. Tebow requires 120. Uh, 60. David requires 120. 80 scored. Tebow requires 60. And David requires 40. 1st Argus. It's the ninth leg to David Cameron. The tenth and final leg is David to throw first. 180. 100 140 45 140. David, you require 136. 96. Tebow requires 161. 137. David requires 40. Start. It's game shot and the tenth leg to David Cameron, which means the match ends with a five five draw. Goodness me, gentlemen. Wow. I don't know how to respond. Uh, I mean uh, where do we start there? I mean, David Cameron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the early in that match, the, the the doubles you were missing, you well done, by the way, for keeping it clean, because I think we'd have forgiven you for a, a few words there. But, I mean, how, I mean, how do you even sum up how that match went? As I say, you know, total confidence right off the get-go. Uh, missed a few doubles. said, okay, fine, I'll get the next one, get the next one. But it does get a little frustrating when you know you can hit the thing and it just doesn't go in. But, hey, you know what? Fought back, I think, pretty good. So, uh, hey, I'll take the split. Oh, you did. But, Tebow, you were finishing beautifully. Uh, you led 5-2. Oh, and we saw you have two darts. That, that top that's been so good to you. A whole yeah. evening. That double top, two darts for the win. <laughs> it would have taken the two points. It, it now means you have a point apiece. You're both yeah. on 18. You're both in the top four. But, but staying there now is going to be near impossible, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the start of my match was not 
not bad. I, I enjoy the, when uh, David miss, yeah, his doubles. But uh, after, yeah, my level uh, lowest, well, yeah, but uh, the darts and David play well at the end of the match. So five five five, five is no more. Is yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's not a good result for both. So. <laughs> I feel like I want to congratulate you both and, and commiserate at the same time. David, let's start with you. Can, can we yeah. reflect not just on, on the results right at the end, but overall, your 15 games. Yeah. Um, how have you found the whole remote darts league experience? You know, uh, I play a little bit here and there, uh, you know, against some guys from home, of course. You know, they want some games. and uh, But I don't play a whole lot um, with the remote. But I have played enough to have the experience, I would say. So, but overall, you know what? This is awesome. Uh, I appreciate the invite from uh, from everybody there, uh, the sponsor. Sure. Uh, and you know what? I'm very happy with, I think, the way I played overall. I was, I'm usually right on the doorstep there. So uh, I'll, I'll take it for sure. And Thibaut, I mean, tonight, a great performance overall. You haven't lost a game, a win and two draws, taking your total to 18 points. When we look at the table at the end of the tournament, both of you are going to be probably just outside the, the top four. But are you happy overall with how you've played over all of the nights? Yeah, very, yeah. Uh, I enjoy uh, it. It was awesome. Um, it was a good opportunity to yeah to play um, uh, dance competition. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, uh, you and the organizer. Uh, it was great to to play uh, some players from different continents. So I it was very nice, yes. <laughs> uh, very uh, a good job. Uh, <laughs> From players and from, uh, of course, uh, the organisation. Well, thank you very much to you both for the words there. And uh, if there is a criteria for selecting the next lineup in Remote Darts League action, I'm sure the way that you've finished in the league and been positioned, we may even see you back. So, well done, David. Well done, Thibaut. Thank yeah, you both for your company over the past few weeks. We say farewell. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cheers. It's not quite au revoir this evening. We do have two more players to meet for our final game. We're going to see Darren Herowini take on Larry Butler.
like we've already said goodbye to our first two players, David Cameron and Thibaut Trickle, and we complete our session here with two more international stars from New Zealand, Darren Herawini, and from the USA, Larry Butler. So hello once again, gentlemen. Hello, Richard. Hello. Yeah, looking at the point situation, it does seem to be sort of a farewell lap here. But a match we're still looking forward to, nevertheless. Uh, Larry, I mean, thoughts overall on the evening. Uh, a big win over David, but that draw against Thibaut, uh, we, we wondered if you needed maximum points this evening to challenge for the top four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I needed maximum points and yeah. some help. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Thibaut played great. I can't take anything away from him. Yeah, and it's still been a good evening for you overall. Some nice I'm moments. Just so Darren likes me more than Thibaut did. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that I think Darren will have his own issues here because he's going to want to put a performance in here um, this morning for him. Of course, after the first two matches, Darren keen to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. always keen to go. Um, yeah, I was just play it how it is, and whatever happens, happens. Yep, good man. So we'll speak to you both again at the end of the match. But let's get this one on. We're looking forward Cheers. to it. Let's get it Cheers, played. Larry. All the best, Darren. Cheers, Rich. Cheers. Cheers, guys. And this has been a great thing about the Geo Comply Remote Darts League. In your screen, you can see three images. I'm based in England. We've got Larry in Ohio, USA, and we've got Darren near Wellington, New Zealand. I'm good whenever you are, Richard. All good, oh. Darren? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so the first leg is Larry to throw first. Game on. One hundred. Fifty-eight. Eighty. Aaron requires one hundred and sixty. Larry on one hundred and twenty two. Ah, uh, one uh, fifteen. Darren, you require sixty. Three. Yep, the perfect angle for us, the double top for Darren. Larry so close to the one two two there on the double seven. Second leg, it's Darren to throw first. Ooh. 
Fifty-one. Oh, seventy. Forty-nine. Sixty. Fifty-seven. Darren, you require one hundred and forty-four. Sixty. Darren, you require eighty four. Forty four. Thirty-four. Darren, you require forty. Game in three. Yep, the second leg goes to Darren. Third leg, Larry to throw first. Uh, Eighty-five. Fifty-seven. Fifty seven. Eighty four. Twenty-five. Eighty-one. Larry, you require one hundred and seventeen. Third leg. Yeah, game shot and the third leg. The one-one-seven to Larry Butler. Fourth leg, Darren to throw first. Oh, 
One thirty four. Uh, seventy eight. Larry, you require one hundred and thirty two. Ninety-two. Aaron requires one hundred and forty. Uh, Forty-four. Larry, you require forty. Thirty. Aaron, you require 96. Oh, um, 33. 33, Larry, you require 10. It's there, the double two for the fourth leg, Larry Butler. Fifth leg, it's Larry to throw first. One hundred. One forty. One hundred. Sixty. One hundred and fourteen. Ah, forty-five. Sixty. Larry, you require one hundred and fifty six. Sixty. Darren requires one hundred and forty four. Fifty eight. Larry requires ninety six. Forty. 
Darren, you require 86. Forty-six. And Larry, you require fifty-six. Ah, thirty-six. Darren, you require forty. Larry requires 20. First start. Yep, game shot, fifth leg, Larry Butler. Sixth leg, Darren to throw first. Sixty. Eighty five. Sixty. Eighty five. Forty three. One hundred. Oh, Forty five. Larry, you require one hundred and forty six. One hundred and five. Forty five. Larry, you require forty one. Twenty five. Darren, you require one hundred and forty eight. Twelve. Yes, and Larry requires sixteen. Ah, no score. Darren, you require thirty six. School. And Larry, you require sixteen. Second Yeah, finds the double eight, Larry Butler, to take the sixth leg. Seventh leg, Larry to throw first. One 
81. Ninety six. Sixty. Money two. Uh, uh. Ninety. Sixty. Larry, you require ninety six. Fifty-six. Darren, you require one hundred and fifty. One hundred. Larry, you require forty. Dirt. Yeah, finds that double five to take the seventh leg, Larry Butler. Oh. It's leg Darren to throw first. Forty three. One hundred sixty. One hundred. Darren, you require one hundred and eighteen. Ninety-four. Larry, you require one hundred and sixteen. Thirty-eight. Darren on twenty-four. Darren one. Yep, the eighth leg, Darren Heroini. Ninth leg, Larry, to throw first. Oh. 
22. Sixty. Come on. Forty one. Uh, one hundred and forty. One hundred and eighty. The first of the match goes to Larry Butler. One hundred and forty. Ninety three. Darren, you require one hundred and sixty one. Three. Wow, what a checkout. The 161 for Darren Herowini to take the ninth leg. So the tenth and final leg is Darren to throw first. Eighty one. Eighty-five. One Larry requires 136. Ninety-six. Darren, you require 150. Sixty is good. Larry, you require 40. First start. It's game shot. And the match to Larry Butler. And there we have it. I like it, Darren. Work is complete, Jim. Hi, play well, man. Play well. Cheers, Larry. Awesome, congrats. Thank you. Well, you, uh, you had a little spells there. You started picking it up there. I was, I was getting worried. <laughs> yeah, 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 just that's all. This is double trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Larry great. summed it up really well, Darren. I think that's been the story for you throughout. Uh, so many people know, of course, what you're capable of, and that one six one right near the end there is exactly the example of what we know you can do. And to be honest, what a lot of people expected in this remote darts league from you. Yeah, yeah, oh, just. After I had the 51, I, was, I thought about going for the 18, but uh, might as well just go for the ball, might have a shot. 
in, in all fairness, Richard, it is still still too early to drink there, though. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> 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 There's only so much coffee and orange juice a man can have. And uh, Darren, I mean, going forward now, it, if you were to do this all over again, all joking aside, would you change anything in terms of the morning preparation? Have you found that a major factor? Or is it more about where you're playing and that you've been a bit cold at times? You're playing in a garage and is it, has that been yeah. difficult? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I, I probably would change a few, a few spots. Um, got my sponsor, um, Scott Menzies' place. Um, he's got a nice setup at his house, but it's um, he's he's got a couple of kids, so <laughs> gonna, I'll I'll be allowed to go into a shoot at six o'clock in the morning. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I see. That's a different kind of distraction. But hey, yeah. Darren, we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye to you and. Uh, we thank you for the brilliant stage set behind you. We thank you for uh, your laugh, because we've loved that. <laughs> yeah, cheers. And also the sound effects. So we've, you've given us everything. So thanks, Darren, for being part of this. Yeah, no, cheers. Thank yous to everyone. Um, thank yous to Dean for um, inviting me into this tournament. Um, thank you to yourself, Rich, and Cube, and everyone that's, that's funding it. Um, big shout-out to Remote Darts League. Um, and all everyone that's um, oops, that's um, running it as well, and all the sponsors that are putting the effort to make this tournament run. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity. It's been a, a brilliant, brilliant tournament. It's been an yeah, awesome thank three you, weeks. Thank you very much, indeed. Awesome. And Larry, uh, Larry, we come to you to complete things. I mean, when we look at the points, 18 points. We talked about yourself, Tebow and David, all needing points. You've all taken points off each other. You had the best share. You had five of the points. Um, Tebow picked up four. David picked up three. It needed one of you, didn't it, to pick up six and, and sort of push up into, the, into yeah. that position. I keep thinking if I only had two or three of those ones I gave up earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, overall, the campaign's been great for you. But as you say, you've had three draws, and if one of, or four draws, I'm sorry, including tonight. So if one of those had gone to a win, who knows? Hey, who knows? But a good ca a campaign overall. It's going to be a top half finish, I think, and a good campaign. Richard, it was a blast. It was abs an absolute blast. I enjoyed it tremendously. Absolutely brilliant. Well, now, we're going we're gonna to leave the remote darts league larry and before you leave i think it would only be right because we've had a, a big loss uh, for american darts in the last few days uh, dave kelly sadly passed away and i'm sure you'd like to say a few words yes sir i, I really appreciate that uh dave and i i mean we've been close for a long time um I, I played on his league in in boston for about seven years uh just and and I not only played league, but we played doubles in tournaments and everything. I mean, he was literally one of my, my favorite people on the planet. He was one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Uh, just to give you a little a little quick story about Dave Kelly. I mean, aside from him being on the World Cup teams, World uh, or America Cup teams, Pacific Cup teams, he was a great player. He actually made me a lot of money in, in money matches and stuff, but... When I won the, the world match play in 94, as you know, there was a big divide in, in political divide at that time. Yeah. Uh, when I returned to Vegas for the North America Open, because the world match play was the weekend before, uh, Tom Fleetwood, who was who literally owned the world, the uh, North American Open, uh, told and was the head of the ADO, said, said no, we're not going to mention that here. Dave Kelly literally walked up on stage, took the mic away from Tom Fleetwood, who was a very huge man with a very dark, deep voice. <laughs> uh, literally took the stage, the mic away from him, called me up on stage, and announced to everybody that I had just won the World Match Play. Which to me, just, I mean, this guy was, was incredible. He was absolutely incredible. I will miss him dearly. Uh, unfortunately, cancer got the best of him uh, a couple days ago. He's been battling with it for a little over a year now, and it was just a heartbreaking experience for me anyway. 
Yeah, we know how much you meant to you, Larry, and I'm glad uh, you've had the opportunity to say a few words there on behalf of everybody involved with the Remote Darts League. Our thoughts go out to you and for the loss of Dave Kelly to USA Darts. Uh, you. Larry, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you involved in this competition. Um, I know we're not supposed to have favourites, but you know a lot of us love to watch you play and the fight that you always show. Whatever the match situation, you always dig in. You, you never know you're beat. And it's been a pleasure, even though it's only been remotely, to share some time with you. So thank you, Larry. This is the most, absolutely the most fun I've had during this quarantine. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. That's what it's all about. Yes, sir. Thanks, Larry. Wish you a very good evening. Yeah, a nice way to wrap things up here. Uh, and we're going to have a look at the league table after all of those. As I've mentioned, three of our players are now tied on 18 points. All from tonight. You've got Tebow there. You've got David. And you've got Larry. They're all in the mix for now. But, of course, they've played all their games. So it means that these, uh, we're pretty sure, of course, that players below, they've got to play each other. Someone's got to pick up points. So they are going to move above those players on 18 points. We're going to concentrate on the top half of the table on Saturday and Sunday evenings. But tomorrow, it's something a bit different because it is a ladies' night. It hasn't gone the way the ladies had hoped in this competition. If you look at the bottom four places, we have had Laura and Lorraine pick up points but not in the way that they'd hoped so the final group they are yet to play each other so we're going to have some fun some competitive darts uh, 21 hours time with laura turner lorraine win stanley tina osborne and stacy pace all going head to head we look forward to that we hope you join us and keep your eye on everything remote darts league the facebook page the twitter handle and of course the website and we'll be back with you very soon on behalf of all the crew, good night. <laughs>